worldwide rest. Coach, congratulations on your 200th victory as a lady laser basketball player. Thanks, Mike. I, had, I, I was oblivious again. You know, you mentioned that at West Georgia. I, I forgot everything about it. My wife said something to me before I even came out. Came to the get, came to the gym, and I, and, uh, and I even think it's kind of fitting. You know, again, began my head coaching career at West Alabama to pick up the 200th one here versus West Alabama. It was kind of an ironic situation, but I would love to have had it, you know, last Saturday. But you know, things didn't quite work out that way. But our focus today was tremendous. Our kids came to play. You know, we had to execute our game plan to perfection. You know? What about that first seven minutes, coach? When we didn't have a point. That, that wasn't part of the game, or was that just setting the bait? That was just setting the bait, there, Mike. Of course, you know, you know, I'm from Arkansas, so I can be a good fisherman at times. So it's a, uh, but you know, we what we kept telling our kids I had to call a timeout because we were getting to see our body language starting to shift a little bit. The game was so physical throughout the first few possessions, especially that first few minutes, seven minutes of the game. We lost the entire basketball game, really, but you know, we had great shots, ball was being in position, and I said just keep going there. The shots will fall because those are shots we've been practicing, and we're going to get can you get those shots? These game progressing. Stay with your, stay with your guns and keep going, and that's what we did on stretch. So, you know, defensive efforts were tremendous. We did a good job on the boards, you know, especially late in the second half, and we forced them into some very difficult shots, some uncomfortable shots. But they usually, you know, we, we took them out of their rhythm, so to speak, and it was good for us in the game progression. They had one of the top players in the league on their roster, averaging 21 points a game. What did you do to stop Misty Dale tonight? Uh, I mean, it's, 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 we can play with a team basketball effort. You know, we didn't try to play her one on one because she's a tremendous team player. And that's one thing that I, if I said it once, I said a thousand times we were not going to play Missy Dale one on one and let her let her isolate, isolate us or, and find other people throughout that. So we did a good job of playing five on one, you know, like four on one, three on one, but we never played a one on one game. That was our main game plan. She shot five of 14 from the floor, and a couple of those baskets came late when the game was already decided. I thought she did an excellent job on her. But I tell you, the, the team defense tonight, it's always suffocating, but tonight it was like double suffocating. We, 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 we have, these kids have finally bought into the things we're doing, you know, and, and we play with such great energy tonight. Our, our focus on, on, from leading into this basketball game was, was really, really good. And one of the things that we, when we came back on the practice floor on Monday after coming to the and took Sunday off, of course, but, you know, one thing about we, we had to bounce back. You know, we were fighting the pancakes. I moved here. I said, it's over. we got to move forward. And, and I said, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to A, B, and C, and this is what's going to happen. We, we either we come out we come out with just and we can do something, which we did tonight, or we're going we're to give great effort to see if we fall fighting our fights. But we're going to give great effort to happen. But. Brittany Ferguson had the double-double tonight for the Lady Blazers with 10 points, and uh, she had 13 rebounds in the game. You attacked the glass. You won the battle of the back. 42-39. Now this is a basketball team. I looked down at the numbers one time. You were trailing 20 to 10 on the glass. So most of those rebounds came in the final 10 minutes of the first half and in the 20 minutes of the second half. Yeah, in, in timeout situations, that's one thing we kept stressing. You've got to go to the boards. You've got to keep them off the boards because anytime you get a lead, that's that's the one way you can get back free throws and rebounds. And, 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 and you know, we we were in a position where we did that, especially down the stretch. I thought Handard gave you some quality. Quality minutes tonight. I was tremendous. The minister actually gave her so much energy, condition, great things defensively, and she's finally figuring out some things that she can be successful in the offensive end. And, and, and that's a good thing. We were able to put the ball in position. We scored in the paint, and probably the biggest positive of all of it. You know, I look here. We were five or ten behind the arc. We finally made some perimeter shots, which opened up the paint even more for us, and that was really good. Boy, I tell you, when Haven hit that long, high, arching rainbow in the corner with a 30-second shot clock on 29 and a half. I thought you were going to jump through the roof, baby. Yeah, I mean, that's one thing. I thought I actually thought the ball was going to hit the roof when I thought it when it went up. Uh, but but the mark you know, was a big shot. She she was so I don't know if it was first, she was just very passive for the first seven eight minutes. She was looking to pass more than shoot the ball. And we need to be we need her to be an aggressive player for us. I mean, she knows what to get done and, and knows where the ball needs to be and the ball needs to be in her hands because. You know, she, she, can, she can help us win games, and that's something that she did down the stretch, and we've got to have her as we go through this month of February.